I'm uh, Bjorn Oskarsson. I'm a, a neurologist at Mayo Clinic Jacksonville. I have a paper in my trophic lateral sclerosis, an update for 2018 uh, that I have authored together with uh, Tanya Gendron and Nathan Staff that will be appearing in uh, Mayo Clinic Proceedings. This is a review article that covers uh, many aspects of ALS from the history, epidemiology, pathophysiology, uh, the treatments that we have today, as well as treatments that we are developing for the future. So in this review article, we drill down on many of these uh, different aspects. Particularly, we uh, talk about the pathophysiology, how much we now understand about what goes wrong in the motor nerve cells. We also spend time uh, discussing the many treatment options that we have for ALS today. Uh, and they are really a lengthy list of things that we can do for people living with this disease at this point. Uh, and uh, we also talk about uh, some of the um, treatments that we have in development, particularly uh, research uh, trials that we are doing here at Mayo Clinic. ALS has been a focus of uh, physicians and scientists at the Mayo Clinic for a long time. In the U.S., the disease is often known as Lou Gehrig's disease, and the Lou Gehrig got his diagnosis and care uh, for his ALS at Mayo Clinic. In this century, we uh, have um, had um, several major research discoveries relating to ALS coming out of uh, Mayo Clinic. Uh, Dr. Rademacher's discovery in 2011 of the most common cause of ALS uh, certainly is a major step forward in our understanding of how uh, genetics play a role in ALS. And the Neuroscience Institute at the Mayo Clinic has worked a lot uh, on this and helped elucidate many of the different steps that go wrong as a consequence of that genetic discovery. We also have three centers uh, that are recognized as centers of excellence for ALS care. First, uh, uh, Mayo Clinic Jacksonville was recognized as one of the first centers in the country, and then Rochester and Arizona are also recognized as centers of excellence for ALS care. This article does talk a lot about the many treatable aspects of ALS. And ALS remains a deadly disease, and we cannot cure it, but we certainly can treat it. Uh, patients today uh, live much better and likely somewhat longer than they used to. Uh, we have uh, new medications uh, available since 2017, and uh, this uh, new Adarabone medication is something that we do discuss, the pros and cons of in this um, article. So that is something which, uh, for most practitioners, may be of clinical interest. So we have new treatments today that we did not have in years past. We also have come up with a more, more integrated approach, which does help patients live with their disease, both longer and better. So I think that uh, we here at Mayo Clinic engage with ALS research at many levels. Our Neuroscience Institute looks at genetic reasons behind the disorder, as well as the many different steps uh, where we see defects in the motor nerve cells and trying to better understand that. We are trying multiple new medications, including gene-stopping drugs, uh, targeting the C9 uh, genetic abnormality that was discovered in, at Mayo Clinic in 2011. We also have several stem cell projects which have huge interest on the public side that are being run uh, by Dr. Windebank and staff at Rochester. So today I think we can look at uh, ALS with hope. We can definitely treat people much better today than we could in years past and our uh, treatment armamentarium is growing uh, hopefully quite rapidly. The, some of these therapies that we are now testing in the, for the genetically determined variants of the disease look very promising. Uh, and we are developing a portfolio of uh, less specific therapies such as the stem cell projects, which hopefully also 
will have a major impact for our patients. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.